Hey drone here, what's going on guys? So you have a drone from AEE. I just so happen to have this one, the AP9. There was like AP10, 11, 10, 11. There might even been a 12 or something. Biggest problem with this is the battery. You can see I got a wired mess going on here. But I'm gonna show you the battery. I've tried to charge this battery off the stock charger. As you can see, it's showing no bars. Um, and if you take notice to the battery, it looks pretty bloated. This is an unsafe battery. This is one of the most common issues with these AEE drones. The drones are pretty cool. They work well. So what I've done here, you can see 11.1 volts. I have right here an 11.1 volt battery. I have a series of wires running over here. If you look inside the drone, you can see it's clearly labeled positive, negative. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect this positive. There's a bit, there's a bigger scheme here and not just to power this up, but we're going to go negative. Why didn't it start? Well, because there's a toggle guys, there's a toggle. So we're going to bam, turn the toggle on. I'm going to come over here. I'm going to turn the controller on. Gonna wait for some lights. It's on GPS, we're in house, it's not gonna get GPS, so we're just going to flick that down. Let's we'll see if I can fire motors. I can fire motors. I can shut them down. On the bigger scheme of things, we don't need this trashy battery. This again is, a, well, it's actually a lot larger capacity than what I have here. I think this is a, let's see. 4,000 milliamp an hour. So we're gonna have to get a bigger battery or we could have run short flight times on this. I mean, I didn't realize how big this battery was. We're gonna have to get like a 7,000 milliamp an hour battery if we wanna do the exact flight times. Otherwise, we can just get batteries like this and be able to run the drone as opposed to not being able to run the drone at all because it has no battery. Uh, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to pull this apart and see if there's any way that I can make this. Um, compatible with the teeth on there that way I don't got to mod that but if I did have to mod that it would be simple solder to the positive and negative like an XT60 connection or something uh, like a Traxxas connection which that is and then it just be plugged just to show you guys again this is not a smart battery they may they make it look like it because it has the LCD display but that's all it is that it, it's it's positive and negative going to that LCD display and it's not a smart battery dji batteries are smart and they don't bloat like this and they also work for a long time i got a phantom 3 battery that i've had forever but all right we're going to continue to dismantle right, this. so i've taken it out of the shell this is what we see we see a aee board up top here um and we see a mess of wires going down to there I, I guess this isn't too bloated i thought it was a lot more bloated than what it was but i think uh I think I'm still gonna get rid of this. I don't think this is a safe battery to have in the house. Uh, I think the easiest thing that's going to be to do is, where's the terminal? There, that terminal, right there. It's connected to positive and negative, right there. I think that's what we're going to be using. So, uh, so here's what we have, and that's the original connection. I did snip over there, it doesn't look like any of this plastic around it affects it. It would just be the little spotted area that you could see there, which on the back you can see is there. So I think if we clean this up to where we just have that connection, um, we can then either just directly solder our wires from that battery to here, or we might be able to do something along the lines by adding wires and a common connection to that, that way we can just use a bunch of different just batteries. to show you what I've done here, guys, I'm using that same connection. It's plugged in there, and uh, I have my positive going to the battery here, and I have the negative, which is right there, going to the battery here. We have connection. You don't need this battery setup that they gave you that made you think was a smart battery, and again, that's, the sides are pretty bloated. The The bottom's not, though, but I'm still going to get rid of this battery. Uh, so we're going to try to figure out a way, a simple way, to uh, get this set up to uh, work for me. 
Uh, that way I don't have to be using gator clips, but the gator clips are just tested. Alright guys, so this is what I got. I got an XT60 female, and we're going to be using this battery, which has an XT60 male. I've soldered the positive and negative to the corresponding pads. We're going to plug it in, we're going to plug that in, and uh, see that it works. And then ideally, I think what I'm probably going to do is just come over top of this, um, these two connections that you can see there, the squares, maybe a little bit of electrical tape just to uh, just to do so. I don't think it's needed, but uh, I think this one. Just to show you here, this battery is super snug. Like, I'm pulling on it, it's not moving. You can actually hear the arm crack. Not cracking, but flexing a little bit, trying to grab it. So that's going to be a secure connection. We're going to go ahead and just go ahead and plug this in right here. We're going to turn this on. Bam. We'll go ahead and turn on our controller here. Wait for all our lights to light. We have it on non-GPS mode, which is upper right there. You can see GPS and NRM. We have it on normal mode, and we're just going to go ahead and try to fire the motors. Motors fire. This is a solution, guys. You do not need their... Because the replacement battery for this, you're going to pay around $100, $60 if you get lucky. This is definitely a fix for it. To be even more secure, we could run a little bit of Velcro left to right here. But again, I can probably... Well, let's go ahead and turn it off first. Uh, I can probably lift this up. The drone itself, I can. I'm lifting the drone up, holding the battery. The battery is not shimmying out at all. So with this battery up and down like this, it's a perfect fit. So hopefully I've helped somebody here. I know uh, this, this drone has been out of commission. I actually thought about selling the drone, but I wouldn't sell it with that bloated battery. Now I'll just keep it and I don't have to buy the $100 um, replacement batteries. I can go buy $30 3S batteries with XT60 connections and just plug right in. If you haven't subscribed, smash the subscribe button. Bam, it works. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, put it down below later.